Legacy Model VP. Naku, lakad mo. Lakad mo na lang. Lakad mo na to. Normally. It doesn't matter the size of our... What? Boot camp? No, 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 no. It was, it was Geek Slay. I gotta look this up. Five that, you're pretty happy. Yeah. And yeah, Cox pulling ahead mid. Six minute rune. But I was gonna say, they have very stationary heroes on the side of Geek Slay. Oh. That's kind of awkward. The Ever Spirit not actually kicked out of the cogs and is going to look to be able to chase down. And that was your first blood. We actually hadn't had a kill yet. So Narman picks uh, or actually dies to Corden and uh, play hard even fighting Raj a little bit. Now mid as well. That's Hurricane to pull him back. Yeah, he can push him. Yeah, nice. Pushing him to the side there into the Ember Spirit, but also outside of the range of the creeps. So that was and Dubu without getting slowed. Forced. That was insane, actually, because Dubu had full vision up there. Yeah, under the pressure, under the gun. Play hard. He'll finally get picked off here as he was trying real hard to keep the Rubik out of lane. We're just going to have some uh, he's in his lane and tries to take the tower. Yeah, I don't think you try and do anything crazier unless you just want to skill ult for the free teleport. Chains as uh, Corden, now that he's level seven, he's a little bit more free to make rotations around the map, and that's where we could see a big difference between the two mid laners and their impact of the game. Power Rune not top this time, as uh, Cox is actually going to take a ton of damage here. Playhard comes in with the extra bit of uh, damage, and maybe it's just enough. One more Fire Spirits and one more Slight is actually what gets the kill in the end. Corden picks up another one. Dunder farmed, and we should just keep her under farmed and uh well they're gonna need a rotation to come out scam turns around throws all his spells as he does have the reinforcements coming through to be able to protect him this time around but uh bleed ultimately they're like okay well we forced some rotation like i don't think you just want to shove it all to lena you can this game but i think an ac for the underlord at some point would be really nice and you know if he wants to oh no scam he tried to get the LSA to protect himself. He's going to throw some damage around, and the Lina does die, but right. Horden has to give away his mega kill streak, which was a solid amount of gold being given away, and they're going to collect this Dubu kill as well. So they are really focused, maybe hyper-focused, on killing. So that's one concern compared to the Underlord, but as long as he can keep up, he'll scale just as equally. It's gonna break with the hook shot. It lands. They get around the Enchantress on top of the Centaur. The Centaur popping the Stampede before the Cogs are dead, meaning he's still stuck there. Oh, that's uh, a bit unfortunate. Geek Slate are gonna keep this fight going though. Now leading damage into Dubu. Dubu broken, but will stay alive. The double Force has nowhere to go to and just has to fight. And Corden, thanks to the double damage and his supports, will be able to uh, kill him before the one being given right now. Well, Geek Slate, they may have uh, better timing up coming up soon with the uh, the BKB closing in for Scam. They get a pick off on Dubu, nothing major. Uh, if they can get BKB, Guardian Greaves on the Underlord, they've got a nice mix of, okay, Magic Immunity plus a bit. So yeah. I don't think Geek Slate are opposed to taking this fight, especially on a defensive ward like this. This is a yeah. hard lineup to go aggressively into. Spokes are going to break, and they're going to see if they can burst down the Phoenix, the Cogs, the Telekinesis, and it's just enough Burr. for the Luguna Blade. They manage to bring him down. Maseros, oh no, he already used the Force Staff to try and help the Phoenix, so now he doesn't have a way out either. Beautiful setup by Geek Slate. Narman making a full read of where that smoke was and where it was going to be, and they just, as you said, held around their high ground vision and waited for Bleed to stumble into them, and now Roshan may be theirs for free. As Geek Slater gonna go for a three-man smoke into the Juggernaut, perhaps. Maybe not the best hero for it, unless they could perfectly chain stun him, but instead it's gonna break as uh, they try and Double get aggressive. Horse. Dubu managed to get the four staff out of there, turns around, starts laying the damage into uh, Narman, and the Viper now in trouble as well. If they can get a good Omni Slash, this fight may just be bleeding. The Scam committing to the egg, the Omni Slash cutting him down, but he gets the egg first. And now on the second life, without the BKB, can Bleed fight him? It looks like they don't feel like they can. Corden's gonna be I caught the LSA, but another four staff gets him down to low ground. He jumps to his remnant, the last shot it's not quite enough Norton Think makes Jug's game very hard in the late oh game. yeah where he has to play in this way where he has to jump try and find the Selena with Omni they're just running in Stampede with the spin being used but the double KB on day. force is going to make things really hard and yeah beautiful catch there from Cox the Omni Slash bouncing around but uh, thanks to the Underlord sitting through it all he's There's tanking no up the tanks the spots and limit the damage from the Juggernaut bleed Losing three as, once again, they are just running into the... The problem is you only have one stun for this blue item. 
Like, that's the difficulty they're running into. You can host stomp this Lina and then what? Mm. Right? Sure. There's no way to prevent her getting uh -oh. BKB off. Lightning catches Dubu. No, oh, he's okay. He's okay. Glimmer cape. No detection. They do have a stolen stampede, two but man. a two-man stomp lands. But Monstros is going without the rest of his team. They're going to try and help him out here. Omni they find the, the Omni-Slash, but there's the Underlord. He's going to tank up all of those shots. He forced steps over to the other side, and he actually gets away while Lina is totally free for this one. Scam. BKB, Corden TP's out. Dies. Nice move by him. The egg does die to the Viper there. Uh, the gem actually dropping in that the second you can deny Lena you know, popping BKB or Satanic or Silver Edge is really big in this game. Gives the Ember potential to help you burst him as well. And it gives you uh, more time for the Centaur to get off like the Heaven's Halberd, which could stop the Satanic heal. Yep. Lightyear actually catches the two of them. Oh, there Not a rod of Atos, but get up the line the They got the sub. What's oh, Lina? The Omni Slash Thunder? is stuck onto him. Raji's like, take me instead of him. But Jackie sticks on top of Skem either way after killing the Rubik. But he didn't feel like he could commit. He didn't have the detection to be able to follow up on the Lina. So the BKB Silver Edge allows Lina to get away. Though they don't have Omni Slash, so Geek Slate. They're going hunting right now. Narvin's getting full information. They're going to go for the Phoenix again. Oh, the Force Staff actually not quite getting him away, but he does manage to dive out and TP. No, the Rod of Atos, they still have the vision. He stopped that TP. Play hard will fall. Slowly. Takes him a while. He has a halberd of his own, so some extra utility for this Lina. Just hard to take the long fights in the Underlord Viper because... There's nothing that this Underlord Viper are wasting. He's like, yeah, I know you guys are out on the map. I'm going to force you back right now by hitting the tier three. Oh, Maybe that was a little bit too much, though. Is he just dead? <laughs> Skip? I mean, that was a bit much. I understand hitting the tier three for one or two seconds. He He's going to buy too. back into this. Okay, bleed. If they can reset, they've got a real opportunity. They lose the Phoenix, yes. But if they have enough heroes that Geek Slate do not feel comfortable going high ground, that buyback may hurt them. They do have Roshan to take, and they can go and and uh, get a second life for the Lina, sure. But it's still top lane would push in faster. Oh, Corden! Gonna come out to deal with it. It's Corden. Corden. They're gonna not go on the. Oh, the gets him with the scythe, and he's gonna die. Jackie now gonna be slowed down by the Viper Strike as well. Die. Hook shot as well, holding him in place. They do manage to get him out with a force staff, but they won't have an Ember Spirit for this fight. They're gonna need a Supernova for the Dream situation to turn this around, and they just won't have it. The buyback from the Centaur. Phoenix Playhard is gonna be forced into something bad here. They do manage to get a force back to the Fountain. So he'll be okay for now. Omni Slash plus Supernova. It's the only two tools they have to fight back against Geek Slate. A buyback now available for the Ember. Force that forward with the stomp. Trying to catch the lead up on a Telekinesis throwback. He has Long to range. They have to be able to get off this Omni Slash. Omni on the Lina, all in committing. The Omni Slash sticks onto him. They get it all to a the couple bounces. of ashes. And it looks like the Lina's going to fall, but that's life number one. The Supernova yeah. cannot afford to die, but the Viper commits. Force takes it down. A stun? No. Denied. Scam gets off the BKB. Gets he has back another Omni. Jack, Jackie, he has to keep hitting this one. No. Got the side that's gonna stop him. He doesn't manage to get off the second Omni Slash. He dies in that. He does have a buyback. He needs to run back into play here, but the Ember Spirit getting caught by the pin. Slight goes down. Omni Slash trying to stick. No! Got the Denied down. by the toss back once again of the Rubik. Lena thrown to safety time and time again, and now Jackie is left with nothing in the tank. Raji's spinning, dancing moves all over Bleed right now as they're gonna be forced to GG out. What a last team fight there, but very well played. Will they pick Disrupt? Oh, that, yeah, that's, that's what you're talking about. They, they like last picking the five. Yeah, it's either five. Know, the Timber Saw in, you know, like a Glimpse back Static Storm, he will die. They're not going to run out of damage with this lineup. So that is, there is one upside of right Yeah, once there. they hit that power spike of being able to deal with him, yeah, they'll crush him. Narman's dead. That's going to be your first blood. Jackie picks that one up. I start for him again. Having this like this really looks. funny back and forth. And yeah, he got glimpse. He leveled it up for this kill. And uh, Playhard's going to just keep on being a nuisance. It's going to take a little bit longer for them Dyer's to get this kill. Uh, but they should be able to get it eventually as the Thunderstrike will finish him off. Skim's like more seconds till teleports back up. It's off cooldown now. But uh, maybe they don't quite have the opportunity. Dubu 
Oh, they have the rotation coming up. The Void Spirit, he actually had the Snowball. Yeah, the Dubu's going to die. They do have a Silence. Nice Gust used, but here comes the Nature's Wrath as well as the Fury Gun. Is the damage going to be able to bounce around? Skem trying to finish off Jackie and the TP in from Raji will secure that kill on the enemy carry. And Skem will push back Corden as well, and they can start getting their assault. Oh, he's dissimilate. He didn't have it up in time. He's gonna have to jump over the trees here. Do you, you feel like you have to at least? You don't want to just lose this tower. They really need Snowball. to secure this. They need to hit multiple raises here. The third one not quite going up, but they're slowing him down a little bit. Maseros. Oh no! <laughs> the no trees tree. weren't there. Oh no! Who Hate cut it. down those trees? It was the nature's profit. It was scam. It was scam. <laughs> Stone cut. Void spirits behind. So who picks it up? It's Timber. If he gets shut down. Maybe you just push through this entire early mid game and just get to the point where your three damage cores come online. Oh, good catch. Three man smoke catches Jackie while he's farming the overgrowth. overgrowth. The Balaam. Buys him a little bit of time here. He's turning around, starts delivering arrows, kills the Phoenix first. Narman's going to fall next. He's got a snowball. Somebody give him vision of a neutral creep. There's nothing there. The Requiem does go off, but it's too late to save. Poor old Narman. Cox does what he can, but uh, has to back away now. I mean, if you get a good one off and resets your spells, that's awesome. But it's not like you have to egg aggressively and take the fight around it. <laughs> Corden, smokes are gonna break. Caught in the static storm. Caught inside the kinetic field. They're gonna drop the supernova on top of him. He cuts over to the side. Can he get out of the silence? that comes backwards, but he finally Dodges gets to the like just before the requiem hits him. But still, the phoenix is able to chase him down. A dive and oh, one. Oh, the silence goes off, but the right clicks are gonna be enough. Corden does fall as Cox making good use of that ace rune in that fight. Yeah, that super value for him. That's just another uphill battle into puts a lot of pressure on Mosseros here to take these mid game fights and they're smoking him up. He has Kaya, he does some decent damage. He's gotta Let's find break it. on Narman. He's sitting in the trees. Cox may it's not get the information target. in time, though. With the Chakram sitting on top of him, the body blocks. Masaros makes sure he dies. The Tusk is going to fall next to him. They do have this Sunray going out, but really doesn't do much damage right now as Bleed are able to evade any shots coming out. Skim. Has a Gleipner. Yeah, he does have the Gleipner and will be able to push back some of these heroes. The shards not quite there for us. Osteros wants him. Yeah, he wants it. He will be able to have him too. Raji does have Sanic Storm. Yeah, Glimpse Static here. Skem says, nope. Well, that'll help protect it. Look at this. Oh, this rune. Hit. Nice remnant. Oh, but they instantly, what a play from a disruptor. Raji locks down the Void Spirit with a preemptive Static. They got him out. The Force Staff out. Oh, they just couldn't get that damage fast going enough. Back Look, in. He's thinking about going back in, but he threw the remnant the wrong direction. In their Skem. face? Yeah, he goes straight for Jackie, giving him the vision. Stolen the Requiem. Back. The Requiem stolen does scare Skem, but they get him inside the snowball, protecting him for now, and the rest of the team is on its way. Can they bail out Skem in this situation? He's trying to make a run. Masaros is going to go for it, though, and the Chakram finishes him off. Bleed. Fighting back now with the carry down. They see their opportunity. No BKB on Cox. But uh, unfortunately, they, well, maybe they can. The Yule's catch. Rune on Corden. Yule's Scepter leading the catch. Once again, a snowball save, but it just means going deeper into the enemy. He turns around, but he's just dead. They don't have any ammo left. He throws a couple of races, but that's oh, it. Doom Slate had already used all of their big spells. They've got nothing left to be able to fight back. So Bleed, hunt them down one by one and win the fight. The 16 strength. Yeah, he, he wants to break this. Oh, this but smoke. They're just blanking the whole thing. Yeah, they're going to get right around the mall and on the high ground during Jackie. daytime. They have all the vision in the world to be able to spot Jackie. He actually used the snowball to stick on top of the uh, tree protector. Skip was sure away. No overgrowth, and they managed to finish him off barely after the four staff away. What a timing there from Geek Slate. Perfectly set up smoke and I would say a pretty good read by the sub. Yeah, they're getting right to where they oh, want to be. Oh, high ground ward. Oh, okay, they spot, okay, gonna be safe by play hard. The smoke breaks, they get the telekinesis stopping them. The just wrap actually hits the train protector. They start laying into Cox here. Cox, he cannot take this fight against the Draw Ranger. Goes forward, the Requiem's gonna go down. The BKB still up for Jack. He pops Man, Mantha trying to get away. Raji's gonna stick to him though. They get him inside the kinetic field with the Glimpse Supernova back. on out. Glimpse back into the stun and he should fall. He tries to put the last bit of damage onto the SF. Masaros is here though. Can he clean up a little bit? He'll be able to get that SF now that the BKB is down. Didn't even have to use his own. So Monstros had a great fight. 
Jackie had a rough one, but honestly, not the worst trade for Bleed, considering how like there's going to just be too many fights where there is one or two heroes from Bleed that do not get it to cast any spells. Another smoke straight down mid. This is the Void Spirit Ags. This is a big damage power spike. You have Blink Overgrowth too. Monstro's leading the charge. Raji gonna pop it. Gets spotted. He spotted the, oh no, the Disruptor hitting the trees and they couldn't really commit there because if he lands inside of a Static Storm placed on himself, that'd be terrible. Masaros is going to charge for it. Trying to get the vision. Spots a disruptor. Just Pretty what big. he wanted. They hit the stun. Static Storm's going to be forced out. They deliver the damage the out. Safe. But at the same time, though, Jackie has some problems. The Supernova is going to explode alongside the Rebel. Of course, he tries to jump away. But now he's been caught by force. Oh, the dissimilate. Jump away to the side while Masaros going in. back through Norman. Pull back that Trockum. And you might just get a kill on Norman, but you will die. Real far out there to find something for Bleed to All right, on. all right. I'll give you, well, we're going to watch Dubu get slain here, but bye bye, Dubu. You know, last season there was a there was a little off lane player. I don't know if you ever watched any of his games. Known as Amar. He likes Dyer's to play Timber a lot, you know? Mm, okay. Yeah, no, but you're just, you're just getting an attack yeah. on everybody who gets hit by it. I don't know. It is pretty, it is pretty cool. I mean, I don't think Lee is getting too clumped in this game, but Dubu is getting glimpsed. He's yeah. dead. Lead. That's a Roche spawn. So you're gonna have to buy back this tree in again here. You're gonna have to start poking them down to force these BKBs, I think. You're just gonna lose Roche? You're just giving this up? I, I mean, they've waited this long for Geek Slate to go high ground. I feel like, I, I actually agree with Nyx. Now he can eat, save somebody. With an egg, he already had trouble killing. Maseros. Got kicked back. Did get off the BKB before the Sanic Storm, so he can still get out of here. In fact, he's going in. He wants to finish off Norman. He says, you have nothing to touch me. Claims I'm getting life. away. The Timber Chain on out. Meanwhile, Skem was just slaughtering. Uh, poor supports. Dropped the gem, actually. Oh, Skem almost caught. Master Trians. Yeah, Skem is at full full capacity. Maseros. Oh, his BKB is still on cooldown for no a few more seconds. Eat. And now they're going to drop everything they have on him. <laughs> Obliterated arcane blink out for this SF2. So now those raises become more attractive than just the right clicks, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is some scary late like, game DPS. That was a 5,000 HP timber with like 50 arm. You did save your timber buy. That's pretty decent here. Grab There's the SF. Sun ray him a bit. Okay, Jackie on the hunt. He Got actually ran into the remnant. Cox dead. On his second life, he's going to have to use the BKB. They got the kick back here. Corden, who dissimulates and will be able to get away. Cox, meanwhile, using his BKB to try and get out, but he is just getting chunked right now by Jackie. The save for the Supernova. Can they, they kill it? Focus down the egg. All in on it's the so egg. Many hits. Not going to be good enough, but Walrus punch the pitch down the Ranger. And Cox goes back in with the Arcane Blink and blows him up with the Requiem. Oh. What a save from Force. Skem, he sprouted the Drow with the mischance talent. Uh -huh. He couldn't hit the egg. <laughs> He comes through the oh, level. Oh, he tries to get off the over. Oh, he couldn't get off anything there. Kicked back. Narman finding some great openings here with the kick. He's got to be careful. Buybacks. You don't have both of By the eighth, the Remnant with all these buybacks. The Chakram, big Chakram damage. Narman still alive. All the Five buybacks buys. as they finally finish off that one toss. They've lost two lane of barracks, burned through all of their buys. Inside the game, we've got the initiation. The Rubik running into Scam. Scam finishes them off with the side device. They get off the wreck. Oh, we have two. Maseros. Bye bye. And it is looking rough for Bleed out here as uh, they're going to start walking away. A double damage on this Furion. Oh, they oh, bought a Divine Rapier on the Drow. They, they're like, all right, one last hold, boys. All right, the power of the gods. How will Jackie use it? Well, it's not going to be I here in this triangle. Can. I'll tell you that right now. Oh, Geek Slate, they're going straight for the throat. They're not. <laughs> they're not going to go about farming any more neutrals. Sorry, Jackie. Jackie's behind them. Yeah, maybe they get the overgrowth. Dubu is gone. Yeah, uh, our Drow was not able to follow up that initiation. It's just no way to engage here. Smoke is wearing off. Jackie, you have one multi-shot. Better make it count. I don't know what you use it on here, but... Oh, it's apparently going to be forced, but they missed the remnant. Now he gets off the supernova, and they don't have anything to be able to kill this egg. Uh, that's it. GG. And Geek Slate will get the 2-0 over bleed.